my name is Ralph and welcome back to Grifflands for the end of Sal's next run. We've got day five that we're on at the moment. Uh, yeah, not really too much I get to do here except for report to the auction. I mean, I, I guess I could possibly spar, but I think I've already upgraded all the cards. Yeah, I can't even spar. I haven't. I have no cards left to upgrade, so there's no reason to do it. So this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, but I am trying to style these uh, so that basically every day is about 40 minutes long. It, it's just happening to hit that consistently for me, which is, is very nice. Um, but also so that the videos are split up into days so that you know no, you don't have to watch this video to see the start of the next run. You can see in the title, oh, it's the start of a new run. Okay, I'll, I'll clock into this one, that kind of situation. Uh, so I, I do apologize, but it seems like every uh, fifth day episode is going to be just a little short for Sal. All right. <laughs> I I love doing this. Uh, hey, Goni. Goni, I need to warn you of a plan. So basically, I, I'm just going to warn Goni that uh, like business is going on inside and that maybe they just shouldn't be here. Uh, you actually, you know what? I, I haven't read this one out before, so let's do that. Okay, I'm ready. Anything I should know before I get started? One thing, yeah. Mostly you just need to check papers, make sure everyone's on the guest list, except for someone named Goni. Unfortunately, he's gonna have an accident before he can make his way inside, if you get my meaning. But this isn't some criminal or debt dodger, so your hunter rights don't apply. Get him away from any witnesses, or heck, I don't even know. Make it look like self-defense. Then the witnesses work in your favor. You look apprehensive. Is something wrong? Uh, no. Just my resting face. Consistently apprehensive. Mm, well, this is the last task. Get this done and all our debts are settled. Heck, I might even owe you. Ulo ones is off to do business elsewhere. You start your shift. You process person after person doing searches, checking documents, and generally just being a pain in the ass. Finally, your mark arrives. What? Hey, Sal. I didn't mean... I imagine meeting you here. Didn't expect to find you working this kind of gig. Uh, hope that that means you can get into the auction afterwards. I'll buy you a drink for old time's sake. Oh, jeez. You make sure the other guards aren't uh, can't overhear you and you drop your voice to an urgent hush. Goni, you gotta get out of here. Someone wants you dead and they've hired me to do it. But just because that doesn't mean I don't have a backup plan. But just because I won't doesn't mean they don't have a backup plan. You walk in there, you might end up dead. Yeah, maybe, but not if you're watching my back. But I'm not giving up the auction just because someone got it out for me. I'm going in there. You come and find me and we'll take care of it, yeah? But hey, thanks for the warning. You really are a pal. Goni loves me. Uh, I get king hit plus four damage on the first attack in each battle. Neat. I'm to convince uh, Goni that I need him to need to search the bags. Sure. Unfortunately, I can't, gotta check your bag before I let you in. Uh, yeah, if everyone is see. No worries, friend. We can take it inside, away from prying eyes. Oh, that's the seclusion, so we can kill him. I don't want to do that. Good turn. Thanks for the discretion, Sal. Of course, everything in my bag is totally legal. Just some of us uh, might give a less understanding folks the wrong idea. Gunny follows you into your post, uh, from your post outside the door into a darkened room, clearly unsuspecting. They good-naturedly put up their satchel on the table for you to inspect. I didn't want to do this, but I have no other option. I didn't know that checking the bags was going to be, I have to kill them. In my defense, the game doesn't say anything along those lines. Figured it was just kind of another thing I got to do. Okay, whenever I play a card, gain a defense. 
What's this? Uh, enemies rejoin the out with less panic. That's fine. Just gonna gain a bunch of defense here, if you don't mind. I'm so sorry for this. I was going to do that three more times. Two more times, sorry. Three times done. Joni is dead. You stuff the body behind some crates, straighten your clothes, and go back outside. Alright. Thanks, Ulo. Make me kill my friend. So, uh, they didn't expect us to be here. I'll hand over my requisition chip, which will give me the ability to take something. Uh, the end of your turn, gain two defense for every card in hand. At the start of your turn, heal two health. Uh, or I could take apply two wound piercing. Uh, hit all enemy targets, destroy after three uses. Apply eight bleed expend. I'm going to take the hamethyst ring. And then I'm going to take place in the auction. And I'm going to use this to try and get the other graft. So I basically just have to set up for a couple of turns while I wait for the graft to actually appear. Because, yeah, it's just suitcase grenades and Rentorian glaive on there at the moment. I'll floss you a little. I mean, this is my last negotiation, so dangerous doesn't matter. It's just the intent dealing the damage to me. That makes sense. That's the pistol. Don't want that either. Let's use that for the draw because I want to... Oh my god, you are really kidding me, right? Yeah, Pale Airtight is the next card. I was going to want to... Uh, I was trying to Pale Duplicity the Airtight there. I'm gonna gain some influence... Double defend this. All right. Uh, Dermal cast. There you go. At the side of your turn, heal two health. I'll be taking that out now. One, two. Pale duplicity. Keep composed. All right, I'll be taking that item. Thank you. <laughs> Two composure wall. Your arguments actually does fit with this deck, but I still don't want it. It's obviously is not necessary for this deck at all anymore. So to the grifter in the front. Whoa! Did I what? Did I target the wrong thing at the end there? What happened? All right. It's not gonna matter at all, but still, like, oh, you know, I don't discard cards often, so I actually don't even care about the initial into the night. What I do care about is keeping my power from turn one. Unfortunately, I removed the spree end with less panic instead. Get him, Ulo. I'm gonna play out the suit crate grenades every time I get him. I'm basically just taking some early hits here in order to do up all my setup. Yeah, I don't need that temporary power, it's fine. Forty two on the response there. Okay. A 
And this is 68 on the repost. Yeah, this enemy's not gonna live. That's pretty well and clear right now already. <clears throat> Sorry, bud. Decent fight. Alright, uh, Ulu effectively just runs in, and, uh, yeah, barks orders as a flood of Admiralty reinforcements arrive. Crowd parts to let you pass, and it's only the first of many such exits. You're a rich woman now, and you'll have a reputation to maintain. With Cassio gone, there's a yawning hole where her influence should be. You feel it tugging on you like a hook through your navel. And sure enough, the resources begin to fall into place. Fish's reputation improves with yours, but she never lets on whether she likes it. Ulo got her wish. Her family knows she isn't a piece to be played with. And whenever they get a bright idea about some new scheme, she makes sure they ran it through her first. You stay still just about long enough to check in on those that matter. But that isn't too long. You have old graves you want to visit. Old wounds that still need tending to. There's a life waiting for you in Haveria now. You just have to seize it. So the end of that run didn't really go how I wanted, to be entirely honest with you. We did unlock some cool stuff though. Agitation, create three heated arguments. I can create four or I can make it cheaper. Heated arguments, uh, they target an opponent argument for one damage per count. And at the end of the owner's turn, they increase by one. So they, it effectively is you play this out and then you defend and these will kill or kill your enemy eventually. They ramp up. Uh, play a game Cool Head. Cool Head is an argument with five resolve that gives three influence and uh, three composure to my influence at the beginning of each turn. Interesting. Uh, and it gets evoked by playing four diplomacy cards in a row. Upgrades to be less cost and or remove its expend. Interesting. Uh, entrapment, add three bait, four bait, two bait. Yeah, it's fine. We saw bait in this run. Drunken Master, add a tipsy card to your discards. Deals max damage if you have a tipsy card in hand can become piercing or deal more damage. Improve accuracy. Your attacks deal maximum damage for the next two turns. Seems like it'd be good with the Drunken Master. Uh, and I can make it cost less or I can make it three turns. Wretched Strike. Deals one bonus damage for every card drawn this turn. Make it cost less or make it deal more damage by base. Neat. Okay, we did unlock the final one. Okay, everything's fine then. Uh, clean Slate. Remove all arguments in play. White Lie, add a copy of this card to your discards. When drawn, incept one doubt, replenish. Interesting. I'll make it zero costs or incept two oh, I love the idea. I want to run a deck with that. Uh, each card in uh, doubt as well, by the way, just in case you're unfamiliar, targets a friendly argument for one damage per count. If you're incepting it, you're giving it to your enemy though. Uh, deceive. Each card in hand is assigned a random value cost two, uh, from 0 to 2 until the end of negotiation, 0 to 1 until played, or all cards. So you can kind of uh, sneko your deco there. Your counter attacks apply one wound, or two wound on the upgrade. Uh, your counter attacks apply bleed. Okay, makes sense. And then whenever an enemy dies, heal 8. That's that's super cool. I like the idea of getting this very early and then just going, well, I guess I'm killing everyone this run. Because you can totally do that. With that, we also unlock the third level of prestige. That's us done. That's uh, Sal with all of the unlocks. We'll be moving back to Rook in the next episode. Until then, though, my name is Rhapsody, the name of the game. That's been Grifflin. So hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on this game, past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.